Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying four British candies. These were sent to us in a Greedy Gwen subscription box. Uh, we received uh, lots of different candies from this box. And uh, so these are just a sampling of what was in there, but we've been reviewing these. So um, if you've seen pictures of candies here lately in the thumbnails, they're probably from the Greedy Gwen subscription box. I'm going to link their um, Amazon page and their Instagram page in the um, information below. Uh, but today we're gonna be trying uh, stuff from the Swizzles brand. We tried stuff previously from Swizzles. These are more things we haven't tried yet. These are the Parma Violets. This is a Stinger Chew Bar. Um, this is just a drumstick. And these are the Double Dip um, Fruity fruity Fizz Dips. So first we're going to be trying the Parma Violets. It says no artificial colors and it says suitable for vegetarians. Uh, we have packages like this um, and ours are Smarties. And I know your Smarties are not like that in the UK. Your Smarties are have chocolate. Uh, yeah, but those this, look just like our Smarties. This looks identical to our Except Smarties. Except ours are different colors. Mm -hmm, exactly. So, why don't you get you a couple. Hmm. Is this supposed to be great? What the heck is that? It's Parma Violet. I think it's supposed to have a... Like a violet a, Yeah. Yeah, I don't like them. I, I tell you the difference between these and our Smarties. They do visually look the same. Yeah. Um, these are hard. And crunchy. And crunchy. And ours are more uh, powdery. Yeah. Um, and the flavors. And the flavors. <laughs> the flavors. I like our flavors. Oh, yeah. Because they're sweeter. They're, mm -hmm. they're much, much sweeter. Now that is very floral. It, yes. This has a very floral flavor. I would never get those no, again. No, I don't like those at all. Okay. This is a Stinger Chew Bar. It is a fruity, uh, tutti fruity chew bar with a fizzy center. It is vegan. Uh, fruit flavor chew bar with a sherbet center. A bit fizzy though. Yep, that's what it said on the front. Hmm. And it is like a, a great, I'm gonna let you cut that because We've tried some of these chew bars uh, previously, They're and the end. huh? Don't eat them. Yeah, um, yeah. I want a piece of the the stuff. Um, we've tried these previously, and it's really hard to to get a bite. A very loud truck just drove by. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid chewing it with my molars because I don't want to get all stuck in my I teeth. know. It, it, these chew bars from Swizzles all get stuck in your teeth. I personally would never purchase them because, for that reason. Because it's just, I don't like having stuff stuck in my teeth like that. And I don't think it would be good for you. Kevin gave me a small bite so it was doable. But to just take a bite out of that, it's a nightmare. I like the flavor. I do too. I like the flavor. It's very artificial. Flavor, yes. But, it's, but it's, it's good. But it's sweet. Yeah. Um, I like I, the little powder in the middle. Yeah, I, I do like the flavors of the chews. It's just the, the whole texture, the texture thing. Texture, yeah. Food this is, sticky. is a drumstick chew. It's also vegan. And it is raspberry and milk flavored. Milk flavored. That's the thing we have over here a lot is milk flavored. <laughs> it's a, we had cereal bars that kind of had a milky flavor at the bottom of them, but that's it. We don't have milk flavor. And I wouldn't give one of these to my kids in the back seat either because they're going to have or paper. Choke on it. Or choke well, on it. Yeah, but I'm just thinking there's going to be paper everywhere. Just yeah, they do have a lot of, uh, they have a lot of waste. Don't use that one. So this is raspberry and milk. I love that. Mm. It reminds me of the Haribo that had the white milk coating on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So like half of the Haribo will be like 
raspberry and the other half will be white on the bottom. Those are my probably my favorite Haribos. I love that. It's good. It's delicious. It does have a creamy kind of flavor. Yes, it has a creamy, milky flavor that is exceptional. If they made that in other forms, I would love it because like I said, I would never buy the chew bar just because it does get stuck in your teeth. But like that, I love it. Yeah, a little softer, not quite so sticky product, it would be better. Mm -hmm. But the flavor is just terrific. The raspberry with that milky flavor is just wonderful. Yeah. Now these, we have these here. We call them, I think we call them dipping sticks. Dipping sticks. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they're called double dip, two fruity fizz dips and a swizzle stick. Look on the other side. So, what? Orange and cherry. Yeah. Doesn't yeah, orange and cherry, yeah. I thought I had said that, but I hadn't said that. Orange and cherry. So, what you do is you open them, you cut it with scissors from the top. And at this point, it starts making a mess. So then you get your stick off the side. And our stick is broken. Of course it is. But that's good, because we're both gonna be sharing it. But it looks kind of like a thick tongue depressor. And then you lick this. I'm gonna cut it down a little bit further. Yeah, the worry I have quite so much. I'll take the whole piece. So then you have a cherry, you can dip it in cherry or dip it in orange. So you gotta, you have to get this wet first. Could cut it out a lot more. Mm, okay. <laughs> I got a little bit of powder, not much. Ooh, that's uh... Um... That cherry almost has a licorice flavor. You get that? Mm mm. No, I think it tastes like candy cherry, but I really, really like it. It's strong, just like you want a cherry flavor to be. I don't like the cherry, but the orange is good. The orange tastes like uh, orange baby aspirin. Mmm. It tastes just like a bear. A bear baby aspirin. I don't know what brand of baby aspirin they have in the UK, but that's what it tastes like. And the stick really doesn't have any flavor. It's just uh, you know, um, just sweet. I think as a kid, I quit buying these. It's because there's too much work. It takes a long time to do it. it. it yeah, and I think, I guess that's the, on the plus side, is it does take a lot of work. So your child is occupied. But that's why I think more you don't see adults walking around with these. Well, the uh, it takes it takes a while to eat it. So most people, what happened was you got tired of doing all that uh, dipping and stuff. It's called fun dip, not dip. Fun dip. Ashley said it's called fun dip. Thank you, Miss Ashley. Um, fun dip. I got tired of doing it as a kid, and I would just end up just throwing the powder up in my mouth and eating it. I think the dipping stick was something with pizza. It could have been. <laughs> Fun dip. Okay, well, Ashley, uh, yeah. So she, all kinds of yeah. Yeah, she's uh, much, much younger than us, so she would know. She's probably had one uh, in the past 10 years but, where we haven't. But you get plenty of powder in it, so it's neat. You do. And you the, do. But I didn't like the cherry, but the orange was good. I like them both. I like both flavors. It's just a no go for me because. Uh, all of these are a no-go for me. Yeah, but for one reason or the other. For one reason or the other, but I do absolutely love the flavor of the drumstick. If they had it in a like a mint form or, or a gummy form to where it, uh, a gummy would, like a Haribo, where it would be easy to chew. Or even a taffy form would be fine as long as it wasn't quite so sticky. Yeah, that is hard. very, very hard and sticky. So I, uh, But we do appreciate uh, Greedy Gwen for sending us the snack box. It's been uh, very fun. We've been enjoyed trying uh, everything. So if you're interested, you can check out the links below and thanks for watching.